Hi, I'm Carla Robertson, and this is your Quick Shot. So today I want to talk to you about making yourself and your message brain sticky. In this world where information is just streaming in from everywhere and anywhere, our devices, uh, TV, radio, whatever, in your car, other people, tons of information. What is a brain to do? How is it going to prune what it doesn't need and retain what it really does? Well, you're in that mix, be it your presentation, uh, yourself, your interviewing, whatever the case may be, uh, you want to be remembered. So how do you make yourself memorable? So there's four tips I'm gonna give you right now, and they are these. First, make it visual. Very important, visual, okay? As it turns out to be, information through the visual cortex, when it's coming in through the visual cortex, gets to other regions of the brain 30 times faster than if it's just verbal. Something to think about. The more you can engage the senses, the more brain sticky you and your message, your idea, your pitch, whatever it is, becomes. The visual cortex is the most powerful of all of them. And as a matter of fact, uh, science has shown that recall of information presented orally and visually, has, be it props or whatever, jumps from 10% to 65% 72 hours later. Something to remember. The other thing that it needs to be is emotional. So, emotional. You want to connect with an emotional cord with your message. What do they care about most? This requires you to know your audience. You really need to know what does this audience care about most? How can I connect what I'm talking about to what they care about? Emotional core. People tend to be moved by that. As it turns out to be, almost 90% of our decision making is made based on how we feel emotionally about what we're considering. Yes, logic, case studies, facts, all important. You must present them. Just understand that all those case studies and facts and logic land in the brain and we will have an emotional reaction to them. And that, my friends, will weigh heavier in the decision than just the facts alone. Never underestimate how your rationale and your logic lands with human beings. The next one is Make it easy, make it easy to understand, repeat, uh, get their head around it. Remember, we're a very over-communicated society. Distill your message to it, its core, make it easy for them to not only remember it, but repeat it to other people. Make it easy. And the last one is to make it connective. Make it relevant. Again, you have to know your audience. What's going on in their world, politically, professionally, personally, whatever. What do they care about most that's really on their radar that they need to do? So executives are very tasked these days to make the more of the right decisions with less certainty and more ambiguity. So make yourself and your, and your presentation connective to what you know is going on in the world of your audience. There's a lot to say about this and a lot to discuss, and I hope these help you become brain sticky. I'm Carla Robertson, and that's your quick shot.